So if you've been around the proverbial YouTube block enough times, and if you're a fan of Joe Rogan, psychedelics, and monkeys, then it is likely that you would have heard of all the many different ways that animals enjoy getting high, psyched, or spaced. Such as this mandrel, which is known to consume the covetous and religious sacrament of the witty people of Gabon, the iboga plant. But why exactly would these relatives of baboons choose to consume this intoxicating hallucinogen? And if there is a reason, what could we, as humans, learn from this animal to further our understanding of psychedelics? So, amongst popular theories that the consumption is accidental or purely for recreational purposes, the leading theory, as supported by local indigenous as well as scientific authors and communities, is that the consumption of the psychoactive iboga plant is believed to enhance performance in dominance conflicts between rival males with one of the most credible mentions of this animal practice quoted in the book Animals and Psychedelics, written by ethnobotanist Giorgio Samarini, describing a conversation with a Mitsogo shaman in Gabon about how male mandrels are known to consume the roots of iboga plant prior to confrontations with other males as a sort of preparation ritual. After a few hours have passed, and once the ibogaine kicks in, the male then finds the inspiration to face his opponent. And while indigenous belief holds the idea that once consumed, the spirit of the aboga tree is what drives the contesting male forward, with scientific theories encompassing simpler benefits such as mild pain suppression effects, the relationship between psychoactive and mandrel is yet another example and reminder of the natural and interwoven tie between animal and psychedelic drug. Moral of the story being, hey, nature is pretty trippy, why aren't we?